Welcome to the world of ants. Today, let's explore the world of the laziest Niger ant, a species that you probably better know as black garden ant. The laziest genus is mostly found in the northern hemisphere of our planet. The specific species Laceus niger is commonly found in Europe, Russia and North America. If you live in one of these areas, you're probably familiar with the flights of the winged black ants. They generally occur in the beginning of summer on warm and humid days. Females and males take flight simultaneously to reproduce. Their numbers are the key to survival for the species, meaning each future queen takes a major risk to fly. Females and males are exposed to the elements and, even worse, to birds and other predators, eager to catch easy proteins outside their tunnels. What was life like for the princesses before the mating flight, though? They could help workers in their tasks, at least the tasks that do not require them to go outside. But a princess, also called allied ant, would most likely wait in the tunnel, well fed. After the queen has mated, usually with several males, she lands on the ground and sheds her wings. The race for survival only begins from here. This queen is about to be in great peril. She has to find or dig herself a hole as quickly as possible. It's not so easy to find a place where she feels secure. To begin nesting in the soil, two essential factors are required. A sufficiently deep cavity for the queen to avoid expending excessive energy during excavation and soil that is crumbly enough for the initial workers to create tunnels. If we know what happens to the young queen after mating, what about males? This male is exhausted. His physiognomy is not made to stand long. The majority of the males have less than 48 hours to live after mating. There's not much left to do for him now, just to lay and embrace the long night. When the queen has settled in her nest, she starts laying eggs immediately. That takes approximately 10 weeks for the eggs to become larvae, then pupae and finally young adult ants, capable of feeding the queen. In between, Her Majesty would eat what remains of her wings, as well as non-fertilized eggs. She can also cannibalize her flight muscles that are not longer needed, so as to not waste any energy. At this point, let's take a moment to consider. How can we tell if an ant is a Laceus niger? A Laceus niger ant is actually more brownish, sometimes more grayish, than completely black. They show clearer stripes on the abdomen. We recognize them with their single form waist, which is called petiole. Their mandibles are often reddish and the lower parts of their legs are clearer, as well as their antennas. Aren't they pretty? Laceus niger ants don't show any polymorphism. That means that all the ants have the same size, with the exception of the queen, which is twice the length of a worker. Let's go back to our queen. Once the colony is secured, the ant population increases quite rapidly. The queen will be able to lay eggs for a time period between 15 and 25 years. That will be her only action during her whole life. A mature colony counts up to 20,000 workers who live two years maximum. Have a look at these clearer ants. They're not ants from a different species, but young Laceus niger ants. In a few weeks, their exoskeleton will be hardened and look exactly like that of their sisters. Laceus niger ants love to dig under stones. This is the reason why we often find them between the gaps of urban paving stones. In less urban environments, they dig a large cavity on the ground with small branching tunnels around it. They structure their nest, adding waste areas where they store corpses. The colony is also organized in a way where sick ants spend more time outside the nest to avoid contaminating the others. Inside the nest, they take care of eggs, larvae and pupae. Look how they gather here a large amount of pupae. They stash them close to the surface for them to accumulate the necessary heat for their growth. When the temperature changes, the workers bring the pupae deeper below the surface in pursuit of regulating the temperature they are exposed to. 
Lazius niger is an omnivorous insect. That means that they eat a bit of everything. They can scavenge insect remains, raise and farm aphids to drink their honeydew, but they also drink directly the flower nectar when needed. Nature loves balance. Some Lazius niger ants form a triple mutualism with plants and aphids. They create a delicate ecosystem, regulating the number of aphids on the plant and removing predators such as the ladybugs. They also neutralize other pests that might damage the plant. The other insects, like these firebugs here, also called Pyrochorus apterus, don't have to fear the Lazius niger as they don't damage the plant or hunt the aphids. We often describe Lazius niger as an aggressive species. It is true in some ways. But if Lazius niger ants fight ladybugs, they never destroy their eggs, for example. They give them a chance to develop. Even though Lazius niger ants are not the most charming ant species, they play an important part in our ecosystem. They digest the dead insects, aerate the ground and protect plants. They help pollen to spread from one flower to another. Lazius niger make our world a bit cleaner and greener. Thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned and hit the bell to be sure to not miss our next films. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but you all have an ant-amazing day.